Welcome to European Railway issue number 70, the DVD magazine for the continental enthusiast. In this programme, we look at the line through the Main Valley, to the north of Würzburg. We travel to Austria and a picturesque cross-country line focusing on the endangered Class 1142 electrics. A look at regional services in northern Poland. France is our next stop as we study traction on the route between Dijon and Nancy. Swiss narrow gauge traction as we call into the station at Filizur. And our return to Germany as we conclude our feature on the Main River Valley. We begin the programme with our first look at the busy line that runs through the Main Valley to the north of Würzburg in central Germany. We chose a number of locations between the towns of Karlstadt in the north and Retzbach in the south, including from on the slopes of the numerous vineyards that adorn the valley sides. We begin in the south, just next to the station at Retzbach, before heading north to a location not far from Karlstadt. We will see further locations in part 2 later on in the programme. Class 146 electric number 241 pauses at the station powering the 1137 from Würzburg to Frankfurt am Main. These hourly services are generally powered by Class 146 or older Class 111 electrics. Rail Adventure owns former DB locomotive number 139558 for use on stock transfer duties. Here the locomotive heads north with an ICE power car in tow. Note the UK loading gauge former ferry vans at the rear, used here for extra brake force. Three minutes later and 185067 rounds the curve powering EZ51681 from Nuremberg to Maschen near Hamburg. Throughout this section we will try to identify as many of the freight trains as we can. Such are the traffic levels here that trains are often nose to tail, with queues building upon the approach to Würzburg. 
Having been slowed by the previous passenger service, number 482029 heads south with train DGS 99704 from Hamburg to München. Owned by SBB Cargo, the loco was introduced into traffic on the 19th of November 2003 and was on hire to Metrans when this film was taken. The trains were coming at us almost continuously. No sooner had 152033 headed north than we had ES64U2035 heading south, with train DGS40579 from Gutenberg to Verona.
Class 193 Vectron locomotives are now starting to appear in large numbers across Europe and are very common on this line. North of the station, the long sweeping curve continues as we see 193883 heading south with train DGS 69153 from Bremerhaven to Nuremberg. This loco was delivered on the 23rd of March 2015 and began work for Box Express just four days later. And another 193, this time number 848, on train DGS 52636 from Bremen to Ingolstadt.
it's nice to see some of the older electric still at work. Here we have 111177 and 111216. One eight five three zero two had drawn to a stand to allow ES sixty four U two O six O to pass by in the opposite direction. We now move north to just south of Karstadt as 185152 in advertising livery heads north with train GA52857 from Sindelfingen to Bremerhaven. This particular locomotive is now in its 13th year of operation, having been delivered in March 2003.
185 604 head south with train number DGS 52576 from Duisburg Ruhrhorthafen to Neustadt Donau. This is 146240 on its way to Frankfurt. Dispolock Hire Loco, number 189930, is seen on TX Logistics DGS 40565 from Padborg to Verona. In the opposite direction, number 185259 is in charge of train KT50588 from Karlsdorf to Neisch. As can be seen, this route primarily handles long distance freight flows, mainly container and intermodal services, with a mixture of DB cargo and private operators' motive power, most of which are the very latest locomotive models to be found in Europe. One five two one one five follows just two minutes later with train GC six zero six eight seven from Wackerwerk to Duisburg Ruhrhorthafen. This is an as required Thursdays only working.
193608 is on hire to DB Cargo, and it is seen here heading north on train EZ51682, a mixed freight from Nuremberg to Maschen. Heading north is class 189 number 908, a loco belonging to MRCE Dispelock with train DGS 59880 from Regensburg to Bremerhaven. Our final scene is of class 111 electric number 183, pairing south with the 1330 from Frankfurt to Würzburg. This is a busy stretch of railway where freight trains dominate the scene. With some good photographic locations and plenty of traffic, it is a stretch that is well worth a visit. We will come back for more from this line later on in the programme. In this section, we travel to Austria in search of some class 1142 electrics. We chose the line between Achnang Puchheim and Steinach Erdning in the central part of the country, just to the east of Salzburg. This route is also known as the Salzkammergutbahn. The class 1142 locomotives are now in their last few years of service and will be replaced by new electric multiple units as and when these are delivered. The class still operate many push-pull services to the west of the capital, Vienne, as well as on the more picturesque line south of Atnang Puchheim, which we cover here. Approaching the station at Atmunster is 1142649, with the 0713 from Steinach Erdning to Atnang Puchheim. The date is the 12th of June 2016. The Class 1142 are under threat from the new Class 4746 city jet units being delivered by Siemens. During our visit, set number 11 was allocated to Linz for familiarisation and to please local transport authorities who were keen to see their new units in use. Here it heads north near Ebensee. Class 1144s are also used on stopping services along this route. This is 1144015 with the 0911 from Atnang Puchheim.
Our next location is here at the station at Langweiss, as 4024017 heads south whilst forming the 1011 service from Atnang Puchheim to Obertraum. Heading in a northerly direction, we see 1142587 at the head of the 0940 from Steinach to Atnang Puchheim. A little further south and 1144015 prepares to leave Bad Ischl with the 1135 service for Atnang Puchheim. Four seven four six zero eleven continues with its diagram. This time, forming the eleven eleven service from Atnang to Obertraun. It is seen entering the station here at Stieg Gozau. Thirty one of these units were delivered mainly for working S bahn services out of Vienne. Another sixty four have been ordered, bringing the total to ninety five. A further seventy similar class four seven four four units have also been ordered. It doesn't take long to reach Obertraun Dachstein Hüllen, and so it was just 30 minutes later when we encountered 474611 heading north once more, bound for Atnang Puchheim. This is the scene at Untersee. At weekends there is a through service from Vienne to Steinach via Atnang Puchheim. This brings a class 1016 to the route. On this occasion it is 1016-003 with the 1005 service from the capital.
Moving south once more and we are at the station at obertraun Dachsteinhulen, as 4024017 retraces its route back north, forming the 1340 from steinach erdning to atnang puchheim This station sees a lot of tourist activity, with many of them visiting the popular nearby town of Hallstatt. Silence soon descends once again, before being broken by the arrival of 1142587 returning on the 1311 service from Atnang, the train terminating here at Obertraun. The train lays over in the station for around 10 minutes before returning north as the 1504 service for Atnang. This particular stretch of railway, the Salzkammergutbahn, was constructed between 1875 and 1877 and runs through some typical Austrian mountain scenery. If you get the chance, it's a line well worth travelling on. Viewed from the other end of the station, we see 1142593 arriving at the rear of this, the 1411 service from Atnang Puchheim. This is the Hauptstattersee, located just north of Obertraun, and this is the view north looking towards Stieg Gozau. On the opposite side of the banks we see 1016.003 returning north, with the 1540 from Steinach Erdning to Vienne.
moving north again to Stieg Gossau, we see 1144015 arriving with the 1704 from Obertron. And finally, we see 4024017 arriving in the station with the 1611 from Atnang Puchheim to Steinach. The Class 1142s were our main draw when it came to visiting the line, but as you will have seen, the presence of other local hall trains and multiple units makes this line well worth a visit. It is Poland that we visit in this section, with a look at local passenger train workings across the north of the country to the south and west of Gdansk. A lot of rural branch lines are still in use across Poland, with a good number still being kept open by freight workings. However, many also host local passenger services operated by a range of fairly modern diesel multiple units, as can be seen here with this view of unit number SA-137001 arriving at Zhukovo Vashodny with a service from Kosh Zhezhenya on the 17th of June 2016. The train is operated by PKP. Also operated by PKP is Class SA-136 Unit number 13, one of seven that work local services around Gdansk on the new line linking Gdansk International Airport. Introduced in 2015, the units were built by Polish company PESA in their factory at Bydgoszcz. Sister unit number 16 arrives with a service for Kartuza. Gdansk Airport sees a good number of flights, 
and a new line linking it with the coastal ports of Gdansk and Gdynia was opened in 2015, bringing a much needed boost to local rail services. Leaving the station at Rebichovo is unit number SA136016, returning from Kartuze with a service for Gdynia. The junction here is new and takes the line towards the airport and onwards to Gdansk. We eventually gave up, as the wind was just too strong. Instead, we headed southwest on the line from Chev towards Konitsa. In more tranquil conditions, SA 137006 heads out of the station at Charnavoda, with the 0835 local service from Chev to Konitsa. Seven of these units are operated in the Pomorska and Lebuska provinces by PKP. Moving southwest, and we are at Chersk, as unit number SA106004 heads out of the station, forming the 1125 departure for Schlatka. The service is operated by Arriva, with the unit itself being owned by the Kuyevsko Pomorskia region. Introduced into traffic in September 2007, unit number SA133007 arrives with the 1106 service from Chev. This unit is operated by PKP Regional.
Also built by PESA are the Class SA132s, of which there are 15 of the class in traffic. PKP operate three of the units out of Gdynia Depot, including this one, number 005. These three units are often seen on this particular stretch of line. Moving to our final destination here at Konitsa, Class SA-108 unit number 004 is seen heading for Tschirsch. Departing as the 1544 service, the unit will take over two hours to reach its destination. There are ten units in this class having been introduced into traffic between 2003 and 2006. Seen stored in the yard are these EN57 electric units awaiting their fate. They will be broken up for scrap in a local yard. Also stored in the area is Steam Loco TY2-1387. The EN57 units are broken up in the siding on the far left whilst to the right are carriages kept in store to cover during busy periods or when local diesel units are not available. Arriva operate seven former Danish Class MR units on some services. This one arrives with a terminating service from Bidgosht. This is the 1528 service from Chev. Also arriving is the 1526 from Kosh Jezhna, worked by this Class SA-109 unit. And finally we see SA-132006 retracing its wheels as it heads out of the station with the 1707 for Chev. We now move to France and a look at part of the main railroad between Dijon and Nancy in the northeastern half of the country. The section of line we cover is north of the junction at Chardonnay towards Mera. Our filming has taken place over three years beginning in 2014. Our first scene comes from close to the village of Avricourt as we practice our skill of kicking over the tripod as we see 186173 heading south with a car train bound for Dijon.
In the opposite direction is the combined overnight service from Nice and Cerbère to Luxembourg, headed by 26161. The date is Saturday the 20th of September 2014 and following along behind in the worsening visibility was Eurocargo Rails 66023. A kilometre to the south and a class X4500 unit heads north, forming the 0751 from coulmont chalindre to Nancyville. By late morning the fog had cleared, and this is the scene just north of the junction at Chaudonnet, as this unidentified class 77 Head south with mineral water from the nearby loading facility at Mere. Twenty-seven oh three six was heading the next train to appear just five minutes later. This time with a southbound working of new rails. We now move north to the other end of our filming boundary, here at the station at Mera. The date is the 7th of October 2015, and 186311 heads north with a mixed freight at just before 7.30 in the morning. It was well over an hour before the next movement, which saw 27006 head south with this long lorry rail service from Bettenburg in Luxembourg to La Belou.
Five minutes later, and 26229 heads a freight from Wapi to probably either Sibylin in Lyon or the Miramar yard area around Marseille. Next up was a short ballast working, heading for the non-electrified line towards Nancy. Number 64619, the X63676, is providing the power. Moving south to Avricourt again, and TGV set number 773 is seen here, working the 0805 service from Mez to Montpellier. With no fog to block our view, 26217 heads north with a freight for Wapi past the grain silos at Avricourt village. There are just a handful of passenger services on this line each day. In this view, set number 4709 is seen working a service from Marseille. Fifteen minutes later and we find ourselves a kilometre further south, as 27012 heads north with a lorry rail service from Le Boulou to Bettenburg. Prior to this it was over an hour since we saw our last freight. With the grain silos at Avricourt seen above the train in the far distance, number 75021 heads south, with an infrastructure service bound for the yards at Culmont Chalindre.
It was another 45 minutes before we saw the next train, this time headed by 26198, seen here, just north of Annie en Bassigny. If you visit the area, expect two or three trains an hour on average along this line, but also long periods without any movements at all. For instance, there was a three hour gap between 10am and 1 o'clock. 15 minutes later and 27.02 heads north with empty rail carriers for the plant at Ayange. This is just south of the closed station at Andy, as 75021 crosses over the D120B road with a northbound set of flat wagons from Culmont Chalindre. Just south of the station, it is the turn of 27.157 and 180 to head south, with stone hoppers operating on behalf of Colas. Seven trains were seen between a quarter past four and ten to seven in the evening, all heading south. This is the 1550 from Mez to Marseille, with TGV set number 4709 in charge.
Finally, in the fading light, number 26217 returns south with a freight from Wapi to Sibilin. The time is exactly 10 to 7. The Raetitia Bahn hasn't seen any major changes to its services on the Cour to St. Moritz route for many decades, but the timetable change from mid-December 2016 saw the introduction of new Allegra Class 3500 electric multiple units, replacing half of the GE443 electric locomotives that have operated along this route since their introduction in the mid-1990s. And so it is in this section that we see the threatened locomotives dominating services on the day we visited the station at Filizur on Sunday the 20th of September 2015 and also on the 7th of July 2016. The first train of the day is the 0606 from San Moritz to Kur, headed by number 642, which entered service on the network on the 24th of January 1994. On the rear is former luggage car number DS4222. First introduced in 1980, it was converted and renumbered as a train heating vehicle in February 2011. Below the station lies the main town of Filizur, with its permanent population of around 440. It lies at 3,386 feet above sea level. The next train to arrive at Platform 1 is the 0702 service from St Moritz to Kour. This train is headed by number GE443 locomotive number 650. This is one of three of the class that entered traffic in 1999, this one on the 28th of September. Meanwhile, number 648 has arrived with the first southbound service of the day, the 0658 from Kour. It soon gets the right of way and heads for its next station stop at Berguden. Trains between St Moritz and Kour operate to an hourly timetable throughout the day. North and southbound services cross here, so there is a long wait between trains. Arriving with the 0758 from Kour to St Moritz is number 646 in one of the variety of advertising liveries that most members of the class carry. With a local train to Davos Platz in the left-hand platform, number 645 slows, heading the 0802 service from St Moritz. The train also conveys Glacier Express coaches, which will continue their journey on to Zermatt.
the powerful GE443s now find themselves on much less prestigious workings. Here, number 652 works the 0904 service to Davos Platz. The driving trailer at the front dates from 1999. The new kids on the block, as it were, are the new Allegra multiple units built by Stadler, having been delivered between 2009 and 2011. These dual voltage units pack quite a punch in terms of power, and are rated at 2600 kilowatts under AC power. This is easily enough power for them to haul additional coaches, as required, or freight wagons if there is a mixed train consist. Number 3511 arrives powering the 0832 through train from Cor to Tirano. It is units such as this which have taken over many of the diagrams of the GE443 locomotives back in the beginning of December. The units also work some of the local trains, such as this service from Davos Platz, which terminates here. Bus and rail connections dovetail into one another in this shot of number 641 arriving at the head of the 0902 service from St Moritz to Kor and Zermatt.
finally we see number 650 leaving for St Moritz, with the 0958 from Kur. With yet more new units on order, the traction on the Reitische Bahn is set to change in a fundamental way in the next few years, and this without doubt will have a knock-on effect to the current locomotive and rolling stock fleet. We return to Germany now as we continue with our feature on the tracks along the Main River Valley to the north of Würzburg. This time we cover a number of locations, including up amongst the vineyards, looking down into the valley and the line below. We begin here at Karlstadt besides the Schwenk Cement Works, which dominates the town. Heading south towards the camera on the morning of the 13th of October 2016, is number 185371, on train number EZ51471, a mixed freight from Gremberg to Nürnberg. In the opposite direction is 152109 on train EZ51754 from München North to Grimberg. Meanwhile, passenger trains are confined to regional express services. This one is the 0730 from Frankfurt am Main to Würzburg, with 146247 providing the power at the rear. Sat in the loop next to us was MRCE Dispolox number 193858. The vineyards around 2 kilometers further south of Karlstadt offer this view of the line as a class 440 unit is seen heading south on a service from the Fulda direction. It is passed by 185214 with train GA52858 from Ingolstadt to Osnabrück. We were nearly caught out by this train, number KT41558 from Verona to Antwerpen, headed by an identified class 185. Note the barge on the river. You can expect up to a dozen freight services on this line each hour, as well as the local passenger services. Train number GB47911 from Brecca to Amstetten rounds the curve with 185348 in charge.
With the barge making steady progress towards the lock gates at Retzbach, the action on the rail line continues, with 185085 heading north with train EZ51702 from Nuremberg to Mannheim. A class 146 passes in the opposite direction. One eight nine nine three seven is a Siemens-built loco, having been constructed in two thousand and eight. Owned by M R C E Dispolock, it is currently on hire to T X Logistic. Here we see it heading train D G S four three one four three from Lübeck to Verona. The time is exactly a quarter past ten in the morning, and the date is again the thirteenth of October. Wiener Local Bahn and Cargo own this locomotive, number 1216955. It is seen here heading south with train DGS 41133, from Rheinhausen to Budapest. Just seven minutes later and it is the turn of 145020 on DB train EZ51893 from Mannheim to Nuremberg. Looking to the south we see the town of Himmelstadt, where we also see 185114 heading north on train EZ51696 from Nuremberg to Grimberg. Grimberg is the large marshalling yard just to the southeast of Köln.
Moving slightly to the north, we find another good location for both north and southbound trains. This is a Austrian Class 1116 electric, working this rail cargo carrier automotive train. The working is train number DGS 47130, from Ketzkomet to Bremerhaven, which generally runs on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We're not entirely sure what train this is, but we think it is train EZ51197 from Sielze to Nürnberg. Locomotive 185248 provides the power. This is also a train we're not quite sure of, but it is probably a late running service from Rheinhausen to Kurtici with Rail Cargo Austria's Class 1116 electrics, numbers 194 and 078 in charge. One 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 eight three heads north with a service for Frankfurt. Number 218105 heads south 
with a general selection of Schwerbau rail grinders and support stock in tow. Of specific interest is the last vehicle, which is a Type SFU04 rail grinder, which can also operate on most London underground lines. One eight five one nine five heads north with train EZ five one seven five four from München to Gremberg. Finally, we see 185398 heading north with the Wednesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays and Sundays only train GM47922 from Linz Steelworks in Austria to Nice, not far from Düsseldorf. We hope once again that you have enjoyed this edition of European Railway.